Okay, uh, we've been doing a couple of videos here regarding uh, tabs, uh, searching for them, dividing lines up by them. Here we're going to replace tabs, and there's going to be two techniques for doing that. First off, if I cat out a file, file2.txt, you can see I have a file here, and a couple of the lines contain some tabs. And um, we can now take that, cat it out, and pipe it into tr. So we're taking the output, basically this, and we're putting it into a new command called tr. And we're going to say, uh, with some single quotes here, backslash t, and we'll replace it with a pipe symbol. So uh, tr is good for replacing individual characters. So we're replacing tab with, uh, with the pipe symbol. If I hit enter here, you can see we no longer have tabs. Where there were tabs, we now have the pipe symbol. And of course, you can do that with other characters. I can do a dash if I want. So here it is, replacing it, all the tabs, with dashes. We can do the same thing with sed. Sed, uh, we can do here, sed substitute. And we're going to say uh, backslash t again using a regular expression, and uh, gee, so this might look a little confusing um, if you've never used said uh, substitution before. Basically, uh, let me clean this up. Okay, so we're saying use the command said, and then we're going to substitute whatever's between these two uh, forward slashes with what's ever between these. What's, we're going to replace whatever's between the first and second uh, forward slashes with whatever's between the second and third. And then the G is saying do that all throughout the file, all, all instances, where if you didn't do that, it would just do it to the first instance and stop. So what we're going to say is uh, backslash tab, that's a regular expression saying find all tabs and replace it. We'll say the pipe character again here. Uh, and then we have to give it the file name. We'll say file2.txt. And there you go, we've got the tabs replaced with pipe symbols. Nice thing about set over tr is that we can actually replace it with more than one character. So I can say dash 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 and replace all the tabs with four or five dashes there. I can replace it with a word. I can say Fred and it'll replace all tabs with Fred's. Um, but you'll notice that all these instances have not modified the file at all. If I cut out file 2.txt it still has the tabs. So we're just changing the output at this point. If we wanted to change the file itself, and be careful doing this because you don't want to mess up your original file, obviously we can pipe it or redirect it into a new file if we wanted, and then cut out the new file. Our original file still exists unmodified, but if we wanted to change the original file and uh, change it in place without creating a new file, we can just add the dash i to said. So we're saying said, we're saying look at this file. So said, look at this file. Find all tabs and substitute them with this pipe symbol and the dash i in place. Enter. And now I can cat out my file 2.txt and you can see we modified the original file. So that's using said and tr um, to replace tabs with either other characters or other strings. Um, so I hope you find this useful. Uh, we've been doing a lot with tabs in recent videos. And, uh, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit my website. That's uh, uh, filmsbychris.com. Chris at the K. There's a link in the description. Uh, there you can easily search through all my videos and playlists or just check out my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Um, and I hope that you have a great day.